Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. Hope you're having a great and safe one and winning one for that matter. It is our report for Friday, December 25th, 2020. Free play coming up in Friday, college football bowl action. We're going to get to that in just a moment. Well, all my plays for the next seven days of football are posted on my homepage at DocSports.com. That includes all my NFL, which also includes a seven-star play on Sunday. It also includes my college football bowl action again through next Thursday afternoon, and that includes a six-star play in the college football bowls, my biggest bowl play so far this season. We're a perfect 4-0 with premium and free pick, these videos, premium and video plays in the college football bowls after cashing again yesterday with Hawaii. So let's look to keep it going. Let's look to stay perfect and extend our bowl season run to 20 winning seasons in our last 25. NFL and college football, those high-end plays, and again, I got a seven-star NFL a six-star bowl game in the same package. Those high-end plays are 67 and 46, which is almost 60% over the last 113. So jump on board if you wish. All the plays, college football, NFL, starting with Friday night's battle between the Vikings and Saints, and it includes the entire weekend of NFL. It includes all my bowls that I'm playing between now and next Thursday afternoon, New Year's Eve. All right, it's all available, DocSports.com. Let's stay hot and keep perfect in the college football bowls. And we get to the free uh, bowl play in just a moment. Also wanted to mention I'm passing college basketball on Friday. Uh, there are only four games all from the Big Ten. We're going to take a pass and come back on Saturday. I am involved in NBA. I've got an afternoon play, a five-star play in the NBA. This will be my second NBA play of the season. Highest rated one so far, a five-star play. It is a Friday afternoon play, Christmas Day in the NBA. So got a lot going on between NBA, uh, college football, the NFL, and I'm involved in soccer. Now, it is an early Early Saturday morning play in soccer, so it's available only on Friday over at DocSports.com on my Handicappers homepage. Red Hot in soccer, Red Hot in college baskets, and let's stay perfect in the college bowls. All right, let's get to the free play, which is bowl action on Friday afternoon, and we are going to recommend a play on Marshall plus the points over Buffalo. Right out of the bat, I just wanted to mention that I love going against teams in bowls who blew their chance at a perfect season in their final game played during the regular season, and of course, you saw Buffalo get up in ended an upset by Ball State last week that ended their run uh, towards a perfect season. As far as what's going to happen on the field, I know Marshall is going to be missing a few players, mostly offensive. The reason I like Marshall in this game is because of what they do defensively. They're outstanding against the run. In fact, they are second in the nation defending the run, allowing under 89 yards rushing per game. I think they can throw a wrench into the system of the Buffalo Bulls. They're also good against the pass. They're third in total yards allowed per game giving up less than 280 yards per contest. And as far as the offense is concerned, they're okay running the football, most importantly. And this goes back several, several years. I mean, we're talking most of my adult life when it comes to the Bulls, and I'm not the only capper and better who uses this, but Bull Dogs, who have a two-to-one rushing ratio, meaning they outrush their opposition on average over the course of a season by a two-to-one margin or more, those Bull teams and Bull Dogs, I should say, have been pretty good to the bankroll over the past, oh gosh, 30 plus years. And again, I'm not the only one that's gonna be talking about this uh, if you're going with some of the guys who have been around for a while. Uh, this full season. But that fits. Marshall, Patterson banged up for the other side. He's probably going to go. We think Marshall is able to at least cover this number. I don't see them losing by more than a field goal. In fact, I think they're going to win the game outright. So we'll back Marshall. We'll look to make it seven straight free play winners going all the way back to last Saturday with this play. All right, again, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. If you like the videos, click on the thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Right back here early Friday morning with our next, excuse me, early Saturday morning with our next report.